So my name is Lewis Hu, uh, I trained as a neuroscientist and now I run the social enterprise Science Scaling. So for us, we always think about science skills and creativity skills and actually, uh, even though we like to think of music as only an art, actually we find that everything requires both those skills too. So you might think about the physics of how the violin works, how to get the best sounds. If you're doing engineering, you know, sound engineering to capture uh, the music better. You're actually thinking about both the science as well as actually the, the arts of it as well. And equally, obviously there are things that we might not realize might require creativity. So actually talking about health and well-being. Actually, most people know about dance, most people know about music, most people know about actually these aspects, but don't realise how much that plays within science too. So music has been demonstrated to benefit the brain in lots of different ways, especially around health and well-being. So that could be listening to music. And we do know that actually there's increasing research about the benefits of learning new things throughout your life, whether that might be language learning to help reduce the risk of dementia, but then in music and dance as well, there's increasing research about how this is important to improve um, general mental health, um, increase social, I guess, connectedness, so feeling less isolated, which becomes increasingly important with an aging population. Uh, and then actually some of the work we've been doing looks at how playing an instrument can actually change the brain. You can visually see that and everything we do changes the brain, makes new connections, but it re really reinforces the fact that actually um, learning new things throughout the life is really, really important. So for example, um, this is one of my favorite uh, tools. This is a 3D printout of my brain based on my brain scan, my MRI, not to size, to reassure you, uh, but made out of plastic from a 3D print. Uh, and so one of the cool things we can demonstrate with this is that at the very top of the brain, we have the motor cortex. And because musicians are using and training their hands so much, um, you can sometimes see more often than not that actually, depending what instrument they play, where the hands would be, which would kind of be right the center of the motor cortex over here, actually has a bigger loop because that part of the brain has has, has grown if you like um, and so if you're a violin player or a fiddle player like myself you'll find that specifically bigger on the right hand side corresponding with the left hand whereas if you're a piano player you might find that bigger on both sides so it's a really good example it's not specific to mu mu musicians specifically but actually showing how what we learn does affect the brain and is really important.